In part one of the Creating a Graph tutorial, I will show you how to select data in a worksheet and quickly create a plot. I'll also show you how to add data to an existing graph with drag and drop plotting. We begin by importing some data, and to do that, I'm going to go back to my recent imports and choose one of the ASCII import themes that I had saved from another tutorial. I'll then select three of our sample files. The settings in the multi-file import theme will be used to import those three files. Each file was imported to a different worksheet of the same workbook. The file names are used as the worksheet name. I'm going to create a three-layer graph from delta temperature, magnetic field, and position. There's no need to highlight the X column, the time column, as Origin will automatically plot the three Y columns against the associated X column in the worksheet. I then select from the plot menu, choose multi-curve, three Ys. Let's go back to the workbook and create another type of plot. I want to create a line graph of delta temperature from each worksheet. With delta temperature highlighted from this sheet, I then select Plot, Line, Line. I can then minimize or restore this window, position it to the right of the worksheet, go back to the worksheet, select each different each additional worksheet, highlight the delta temperature column, and then drag and drop the data into the graph. I will rescale the axes, and then repeat this for the first sheet. You want to hover the mouse until you get the pointer with the little graphs icon, and then drag and drop the data into the graph window. That's one easy way of adding data to any graph. It's hard to distinguish these three graphs, so let me group them so their line color will increment. To do that, I'll double click on the layer icon, which will open the plot setup dialog. I then hold down the shift key to highlight the three data plots in the layer. Right click, and from the context menu, I can group. Click OK, and you'll see the line color has now been set to increment. To update the legend, I can select Graph, Update Legend. And for the Auto Legend Translation Mode, the default is to pick up comments. However, in the worksheet, the comments field was empty, so then it defaulted to the long name. The long name field is not unique among the three worksheets. In all cases, it says delta temperature. What is unique is the worksheet name, which is the file name. So if I modify this dropdown, selecting custom, I can then type in at WS for worksheet. Click OK, and the legend will update with the name of the worksheet for each data plot. This concludes part one of the Creating a Graph tutorial. Thank you for watching.